Hello everyone, so what I'd like to do is talk about this phenomena that we've probably all noticed, is that when you get further away from the source of sound, that sound gets quieter. So there are usually two contributions to this. One is the contribution just to do with uh, damping, actually. Sound gets dampened in air, just like we had from the simple harmonic oscillator. The second one that we're going to focus on, though, is the fact that the energy from the source gets spread out in space. And specifically, because we live in three dimensions, it gets spread out in three dimensions. And the consequence of this we'll see is how the strength of sound decreases as an inverse square law. Uh, so in order to do this, I'm going to start with my, uh, my little howler monkey. Get him just right. Okay, so I got my little howler monkey. And what happens is when the howler monkey hoots, right, the energy from the howler monkey gets put into the air and that energy travels away from the howler monkey. And that energy travels away in big spherical shells, right? Okay, so the energy is traveling away. So there's some energy being put into the, there's some point source by the howler monkey and some distance away, the energy is getting put into this. Okay, so I want to introduce a new idea called intensity. So the intensity is equal to the power from some source um, divided by some area. So for instance, a really common application of this is with the sun. We have some sun up in the sky, and we have some little patch of ground, and the sun rays come through, and they hit this little patch of ground, and so there's some energy per unit time of the sun that's hitting some area. And so this gives us an idea of the intensity or the energy per unit time that is hitting some area on the ground, right? And so, you know, if we multiply the, uh, this value by some, some area, we could get the total power that is incident on an area, right? So this is how it would work for the sun. Well, here we have the exact same thing. So we have some power that is being emitted by the howler monkey. And that power is being spread over some area as this wave propagates. And what is that area? Well, it's the area of this sphere. It's the surface area of this sphere, right? And what's the surface area of a sphere? Well, it's equal to the incident energy divided by 4 pi r squared. So this is the intensity at any point, any single point on this, on this surface. So if we wanted to think about, say, our hearing and the energy hitting our eardrum, well, we could think like, well, I'm going to put a little ear over here, right? So I have a little ear, um, and my ear has some area. So the power that is on my ear is now equal to the intensity at that point times the area of my ear. So it would be P naught times 4 pi r squared times my area of my ear. And see, the, the, the areas cancel out, and we're just left with some power. And this is why sound gets quieter as you get further away. As the distance r increases, your ear moves further away. So you're at a further distance. Your area of your ear is the same. Um, and, but the, because the intensity is lower, there's less total power incident on your ear. So this is sort of a, an introduction to energy and waves in 3D and why when you get further away from a source does it sound quieter?